Oh, hi. Sorry, I was uh, busy here uh, working on a project trying to determine how many times I have to forgive my wife. And I wasn't sure what that number is. I mean, she's been very forgiving of me because I've made a few mistakes here and there and she's been really good about that. But I was trying to figure out how many times do I have to do that. So I was trying to add up all the times that I needed to forgive her. Um, and there was here. And so I was going through all these lists. Don't ask why I'm keeping a list of all these things, but... And then there was... Oh, no, that was my fault. Sorry, that was... that was I did something wrong and she forgave me. Oh, and that one was my fault too. So I got to take that off there and that one off. Um, oh, but then there was... Was the time she she threw away my favorite Smurf doll that, that was without checking with me because nothing I like better than Smurfs, let me tell you. And then there was a time she ate up all the M and M's. Oh wait, nope, sorry, I ate all the M and M's. That was mine. That was my bad. Um, gosh, it's kind of hard to keep track of all that, especially since uh, she's forgiven me quite a few times, and I'm. Sometimes I forget which, uh, which one of us did something that maybe we shouldn't have done. Um, actually, I've probably done a lot more things to be forgiven for than she has, but how many times do we forgive somebody? And how many times are we supposed to do that? Is there some cutoff point where we can say, well, that's it, I don't have to forgive anybody anymore because I've done it enough. And it makes me think of our gospel lesson when Jesus is talking with his disciples and he's talking to Peter. And Peter comes to Jesus, it says in Matthew 18, and says to him, Lord, if another member of the church sins against me, that's a brother or sister in Christ, how often should I forgive? As many as seven times? And Jesus said to him, not seven times, but I tell you, 70 times seven. That's a lot. Let's see. Let's see. Let's clear this here. So 70 times 7, I can't even figure it out apparently, 70, clear, 70 times 7, Oh, there we go. Finally, it took me a while to figure that out. I even have trouble using the adding machine. How am I going to keep track of all of this? Well, that's 490. That's a lot of times. Who's going to keep track of that? I mean, can you imagine sitting there writing down every time I forgive you of something or you forgive me and we keep a little mark of that and we go to our adding machine and we said, okay, I forgave him once today and once yesterday and then twice on last Friday and then two months ago I forgave him three four times. Yeah, that was it. And, okay, we're up to eight. Only uh, 482 more times to go. It's not what Jesus was really getting at, though, was a number. Jesus didn't want us to keep records and have sheets of paper that had all the times we had to for we forgave somebody or all the times they forgave us. Jesus was talking about forgiving somebody completely and wholly. And those numbers that Jesus uses, seven was kind of a number used to mean completeness or wholeness. Well, Jesus says, not just seven, but... 70 times 7, a huge number. I want you to forgive somebody of all the things they do wrong times 70. So I want you to forgive them and forgive them and forgive them and forgive them. And if they keep making mistakes, I want you to keep forgiving them just like your Father in Heaven forgives you because you and I make mistakes. You and I sin and we do things that God calls us not to do or we don't do things God calls us to do. And God's not t sitting there saying, all right, that was a sin there and that was a sin. No, that was five sins and that was, boy, that was a really big sin. I'm going to count that one twice. And um, that, there was two of those sins yesterday and there was that sin the day before. And uh, oh, I didn't add in Friday's 22 sins that were there. God doesn't do that. God says, clear. Get rid of it. He's forgiven our sins. He's taken that, that whole number of sins that we've committed and thrown them in the garbage. I'm in the counting room here today because this is a room where we count. And so that's why I thought it would be a good place to count times of forgiveness, but no place is a good place to count times of forgiveness. 
except to remember that God has forgiven us of all our sins. He has forgiven us of every single sin we have ever committed. Every single one. And our slate is clean. And he calls us to forgive others the same way that he forgives us. We pray regularly what's called the Lord's Prayer. So it's a prayer that the Lord Jesus taught us. And we say in that prayer to forgive us our trespasses or to forgive us our sins as, or to forget, we ask God to forgive us our sins as we forgive the sins of others or we forgive the trespasses of others. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive the trespasses of others. So God forgives us and then we're called to go out and forgive others. God forgives us. That's the only way we really can go out and forgive others is by the forgiveness that God has for us. Knowing that forgiveness, knowing that our slate is clean, we are able to forgive others. So I want you to remember that passage there when Peter talks to Jesus. And Jesus says to him in chapter 18 of Matthew, and he says, when Peter asked, how often should we forgive? Seven times? And Jesus said to him, not seven times, but I tell you 77 times, or seven, 70 times seven, depending on exactly how that's uh, translated there. That's how much we're to forgive others, is as much as God forgives us. And that can be a challenge sometimes. It's not always easy to forgive somebody. Sometimes people really hurt our feelings or do something really wrong to us. But when they come to us and they ask for forgiveness, we are called to forgive them, just as our Father in Heaven forgives us. So, I want to show you, this is the total of all the sins that God is, has not forgiven you and me. That's the number right there. If you can see that, that's the total number of sins that God has keep, kept against you and me. We thank God that that number is zero. And that he forgives us that we might go out and forgive others. Amen.